ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. And it's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check! Hello everyone, I'm Jules Giang. At ako naman po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion and this is K-Check. In this week of competition, we're looking for the contestant who will take the final spot in our semi-finals round. The search is almost over, pero tuloy pa rin ang brain power challenge sa ating mga contestants. Samahan nyo kami until the final week of competition to find out who our next K-Check champion will be. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Unang-una, we have Rudolph. Rudolph is a third-year secondary education student from UP Diliman College of Education. His major is English, while his minor is social studies. He likes to play volleyball, watch movies, and listen to music. Sunod naman, we have Vinzar. Vinzar is a theater management student in UP Diliman. He is very passionate in immersing himself in arts and culture, especially learning about different cultures in the Philippines and Asia. His hobbies are watching YouTube videos, surfing on Facebook, and playing sports. Sunod naman, we have Jez. Jez is a proud BS Computer Engineering student of UP Diliman and is just as proud to be a Cebuano. He enjoys dancing, drawing, video games, and playing with his pet cats. He also enjoys collecting merchandise from his various favorite animated series and games. And finally, we have Des. Des is an incoming fourth-year BS Electrical Engineering student from UP Diliman. She enjoys drinking coffee and eating pastries. In her free time, she enjoys playing the Nintendo Switch, particularly with Super Mario games. She dreams of becoming an engineer and a lawyer someday, attorney. Oo nga, pero hindi ako pwede maging engineering. Never, kung naisip. Anyway, these four contestants will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Siyempre, nandito ang mga suki natin. Unang-una, UP Diliman Department of Art Studies Chair, Assistant Professor Sofia Guillermo. Nandito din si Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History, and Assistant Professor Marla Endriga of the Department of Biology in UP Manila. At ngayon, contestants, handa na ba kayo for our first round? Sa round na to, correct answers are 10 points each. So, get ready to buzz in and collect those points because it's time. Let's begin! This is round one. Question number one. What citrus fruit is named after a fruit that grows in a vineyard? Yes. Grapes. Grapes is wrong. Yes. Grapefruit. Grapefruit is correct. Okay, check. Question number two. In India, the heat was so intense in June 2024 that sprinklers had to be installed at the Kuno National Park to cool the 25 big cats, which are the, fa which are the fastest land animals on Earth. What member of cat family are these? Denzar. Cheetah. Cheetah is correct. Okay, check. Question number three. The most expensive handbags are the Birkins made by which French luxury design house? The correct answer is Hermes. Question number four. The PIN is a numerical code used to verify, identify in electronic transactions. Benzar? Location. That is wrong. Let me proceed with the question. What does the P in PIN mean? Personal. Personal is correct. Okay, check. Question number five. In June 2024, the Vice President of Malawi, Lazarus Chokwera, perished with nine others in a plane crash. In what continent can you find Malawi? Yes. Asia. Asia is wrong. Anyone can see it. Udo. South Africa. South Africa is wrong. What continent are we talking about? Benzar. Australia. Australia is wrong. Yes. Africa. Africa is correct. Okay, check. Question number six. In elementary math, 25 
is one fifth of what number? Jez. 125. 125 is correct. Okay, check. Question number seven. What is the name of the professor that was played by Richard Harris and Michael Gambon in the Harry Potter movies? Yes. Professor Dumbledore. Professor Dumbledore or Albus Dumbledore is correct. Okay, check. Question number eight. Who won the Grammy Award for Album of the Year? Taylor Swift. That is actually correct, but let me proceed with the question. Album of the Year in 2016 with 1989. The correct answer is Taylor Swift. Okay, check. Paano mo nahulaan yun? Wala pa akong context. Okay. Question number nine. In Philippine history, with what three-letter acronym is the Reform the Armed Forces Movement more popularly known? KKK. KKK is wrong. Anyone can steal. Hindi ka umabot. The correct answer is RAM or RAM. Question number 10. In what sport did we get the everyday phrases rain check, right off the bat, out of one's league, Jez? Baseball. Baseball, let me proceed again. Out of one's league and step up to the plate. We said baseball, that is correct. Okay, check. Question number 11. Which school won both the seniors and juniors overall titles in UAAP Season 86 in May 2024? Vinzar? Oh, Ateneo. Ateneo is wrong. Anyone can steal. Rudal. National University. National University is wrong. Jess or Des? Jess? UP. UP is wrong. Des? Pili na lang. UST. UST is correct. Okay, check. Last question for this round, number 12. Complete the title of a 2023 movie starring Vilma Santos and Christopher De Leon with an Asian city. When I met you in blank. The correct answer is Tokyo. That ends round number one. Maraming salamat for that round. And after that round, we have Jess in the lead with 50 points, Des with 20, Vinsar with 10, and Rudolph with 10 as well. So eto na nga. Ang paborito nating portion dito po sa K-Check where we try to know more about our contestants. And it's our favorite part of each um, show. Each, each show, di ba? So, ito na po, ang tinatawag nating portion na... Game, Game Chica! Chica. <laughs> so, Rudolph, ikaw ang unang-una naming tatanungin. Do you play volleyball competitively? Sabi nga nila, volleyball is the new basketball, no? Uh, so far, hindi pa po ako nakapag-compete like competitively. Uh, so, how often do you play volleyball? Uh, my most recent was last night po. Ah, medyo talagang in the groove niya ang volleyball. Pero grabe ng popularity ng volleyball ngayon. No? Talagang oh. napupuno nila yung mga arenas kapag may games. Why do you think so, Rudolph? I think it's the popularity of the players, not really the sport. Oh. Ikaw ba nanonood ka na ng volleyball? Na, minsan, UAAP. Kapag, siyempre, ang UP pag lumalaba. <laughs> Pero everyone's noticing, no? Na yung attendance sa mga volleyball games talagang... Increasing talaga. Increasing. Right. Thank you, Rudolph. Sana makapag-play ka rin professionally if you want in the future. Okay, next naman si Vinzar. So, Vinzar, saan nagagaling ang passion mo for arts and culture? And ano ang mga next mong gusto puntahan sa Pilipinas or sa Asia to pursue this passion? Um, actually, um, like different arts, like uh, music, like instruments, or theater arts, or dancing, or singing. Um, gusto ko naman sa Asia, siguro, since na-explore ko na yung Brunei, and uh, siguro uh, Malaysia and Indonesia, I think. Sarap din, ano, kapag arts and culture, pasok din dyan minsan ang food. Yes. Diba? Kasi part ng culture nila yan. Are you a foodie? Um, yes. <laughs> Sarap dyan, kasi halos same yung flavors ng Malaysia and Indonesia. Yes. Mm -hmm. hang. Yan. Kaya siguro hindi masyadong nagre-rehisto sa... Ay, hindi ka mahilig sa maanghang. Hindi ka mahilig sa maanghang. I avoid it. Like the plague. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> naman, hindi naman. Hindi lang talaga ako sanay sa maanghang na food. So, maraming salamat, Vinsar and Rudolph. Um, we will talk to you again later, Jess and Dez. Diba? In the meantime, 
Paghandaan po natin ang round 2 susunod na po sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! At tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Points recap muna tayo. Jez is in the lead with 50 points, followed by Des with 20 points. And sinunda naman ni na Rudolph and Vinzar with 10 points each. Ngayon naman, tuloy na natin ang second part ng... Hey, Chica! So, si Jez naman ang ating kakausapin. So Jez, what are your favorite animated series and games? At anong klaseng merch ang kinokollect mo? Hindi ba medyo magastos yan? Yeah, you usually collect mga figurines or keychains and the like. And the favorite anime series or series I've watched is like the volleyball um, anime Haikyuu and Attack on Titan and then games like Genshin Impact or stuff like that. I guess, assumption ko lang naman, kaya popular si volleyball kasi na, sa anime na rin ngayon. Eh. Before kasi nung kabataan namin, yung basketball naman ang nasa anime. Ngayon yeah, yung volleyball naman. Pero ako na basket. Assumption <laughs> lang naman. Ganun ba? Thank you, Jez. Eh, ito naman. Actually, nag-iisip pa rin ako tungkol dyan sa basketball and volleyball na yan and how it's related to anime. Yeah. Because I don't think I've ever watched anime. anime. Oh, but I'm a nerd that way. In any case, Des, maraming salamat, Chess. Si Des naman, seryoso bang gusto mong maging both a lawyer and an engineer? Parang engineer pa lang, mahirap na. <laughs> yes, attorney. Um, right now po, I'm taking electrical engineering kasi uh, it's some sort of parang naging interest ko na din yung math and science na develop. But growing up, I like reading books, I like talking to people. I like debating, so parang I want to use my passion and skills into helping the Filipino people from a legal standpoint. Pero I think uh, it takes time. So right now, focus mo na ako sa engineer, then maybe uh, as time passed by, would hopefully work into becoming a lawyer. Pero paano ka na detour sa engineering? Bakit hindi ka na lang dumerecho into what are the usual pre-law courses? Philosophy, um, Paul Sai, uh, even good. business management or accounting. <laughs> actually, good question po. It's actually because during the pandemic, since I entered college, college uh, during the pandemic, I wanted talag uh, since pangane po. I really wanted to uh, gain this some sort of scholarship that is aligned sa uh, sciences. So nagdun ako nag detour. Pero hopefully. Uh, still right now, I still wanted to be a lawyer, so okay lang yan, darating din. Although marami namang, hindi naman, yun yung binanggit ko kanina mga usual pre-law courses, pero meron din akong mga kaklase na BS Math, Engineering, meron pa nga Marine Science, so hindi naman kinakailangan. At yung ma-interest naman, di ba? Kahit hindi man alam, kayo nga math club dati. Math club? Pero political, pero political science, science naman. So, Medyo na detour lang ng sandali uh, sa math club. <laughs> <laughs> pero maganda yan, no? exciting yung magiging background niya kung maging lawyer siya, tapos engineer din siya. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Des and Jess. Yes. But now, it's time for round two. So contestants, get ready to buzz in, but make sure you strategize. Correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. It's time. Let's begin. This is round two. Contestants, question number one. What word may refer to the part of the tree that is left after it is cut or can also refer to a verb that means to ask a very difficult question, des? Stump. Stump is the correct answer. K-check. Question number two. Which runner set a world record of 9.58 seconds in the men's 100-meter run in 2009? Des? Usain Bolt. Usain Bolt is the correct answer. K-check. Question number three. June 15 was declared a holiday in Pampanga and Angeles City to commemorate the eruption of which volcano in 1991? Yes, Des? Mount Pinatubo. Mount Pinatubo is the correct answer. K-check. Question number four. What common fuel is a dark combustible solid mineral consisting of carbonized vegetable fossil matter? Des? Coal. Coal is the correct answer. K-check. Oh, yung ibang contestants natin, ha? Question number five. What is the name of the bear created by Michael Bond 
that came from the darkest Peru and starred in the 2014 live-action animated film. The answer is Paddington Bear. Question number six. What is the name of the Marvel character who has a twisted sense of humor and a superhuman healing factor that is played in the movies by Ryan Reynolds? Jeff. Deadpool. Deadpool is the correct answer. Kate Chet. Question number seven. This time, what African country was formed with the union of Tanganyika and Zanzibar? The correct answer is Tanzania. Question number eight. What do you call a ring-shaped island formed of coral that surrounds a lagoon, just like Bikini, Ayungin Shoal, and Tubataha Reef? Yes. Um, coral Reef. Coral Reef is incorrect. The correct answer is Atoll. Question number nine. Known for the tagline, Walo hanggang dulo, which girl group became the first music artist? Rudolph. Beanie. Beanie is the first girl group that became the first music artist to top Billboard's Philippine Songs chart. Beanie is the correct answer. K check. Question number 10. What is the name of the character played by Mel Gibson in a 1979 post-apocalyptic film that had a spin-off in 2024? The correct answer is, hindi ba kayo nanood ng Mad Max? Hindi. <laughs> Question number 11. Using a word that means a bag, complete the idiom that means to go to bed or sleep. And that is, the idiom is, hit the chest. Sack. Sack is the correct answer. K-check. Question number 12 and the last question for this round. To which rock group Pun intended, do Mick Jagger and Keith Richard belong? Meron ng clue, pun intended. The rock group is the Rolling Stones. And that's it for the second round. Salamat, attorney, for that round. Let's do a scores recap. Jez and Des are tied with 90 points each, followed by Rudolph with 30 points. Vinzar with 10 points. Pero hindi pa tapos ang laban. Ultimate pagalingan na sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! -check. Welcome back to K-Check! Isang points recap bago tayo magpatuloy. Jazz and Des are tied in first place with 90 points each, followed by Rudolph with 30 and Vinsar with 10. Pero meron pa tayong paparating na ultimate pagalingan round. Dito, correct answers are worth 30 points each at my 15-point deduction for wrong answers. Remember, sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan. Let's see how not just our contestants but how our experts will do in this round. Ilan kaya ang mga tanong nila ang masasagot ninyo? So, for this multiple choice round, we will accept the answer itself or the letter and answer but not the letter only. Kaya naman, let's go for those points and for the win. Let's, let's begin. begin. And to kick off our ultimate pagalingan round, let's begin with Prof. Sophie. Thank you, Attorney Gabby. The bungkaka, also known as the bamboo buzzer, is a percussion instrument common to the Ifugao, Kalinga, and Ibaloy. Which of the following musical instruments is not made out of bamboo? A. Kubing B. Gabang C. Kolitong D. Kulibit E. Kulintang Vincent. E. Kulintang Yes, no. The Kulintang is Actually, they're bronze gongs. Yes. And definitely not made of bamboo. Okay, check. 
Masaya ang umpisa ni Prof. Sophie for today. Diba? Tingnan naman natin kung makakasagot ang mga contestants sa tanong ni Prof. Neil. Sino ang raha ng limasawa na nakipagsandugoan kay Ferdinand Magellan noong Marso 29, 1521 na ayon sa sinulat ni Antonio Pigafetta, opisyal na tagatala ng paglalayag ni Magellan ay tinawag ng mga katutubo ng nabanggit na lugar na kasi-kasi. A. Colombo B. Humabon C. Matanda D. Sikatuna E. Tupas B. Humabon Mali Anyone can answer. Jez D. Sikatuna Mali Rudolf for Jez Rudolf A. Colombo Okay kanina hinamon ko si Rudolph sabi ko dahil minor ka sa social studies dapat masasagot mo mga tanong ko so tagumpay ako <laughs> letter A kulambo tamang sagot kay check Prof. Marla science which instrument is used to visualize sound waves A. thermometer B. Voltmeter C. Oscilloscope D. Calorimeter E. Manometer C. Oscilloscope C. Oscilloscope is correct. Okay, check. Masaya ang ating tatlong panel of experts at nasagot ng mga contestants ang mga katanungan sa first round. Tingnan natin kung paano sila magfe-fare This round two, Prof. Sophie. Thank you. What is a traditional Japanese gate commonly found at the entrance of or within a Shinto shrine where it symbolically marks the transition from the normal everyday world to the sacred called A. Pagoda B. Tori C. Hong Salmon D. Tori Tapusin ko lang yung ano D. Torana E. Tamquan um, Tori E Now those bright red arches Is correct Kay check So far so good si Prof. Sophie Yung Torana parang dating model ng kotse Dati Naku parang hindi naabutan ni Prof. Sophie Si Prof. Neil tumatawa kasi naabutan <laughs> naabutan niya ang torana na kotse. Prof. Neil. The effectiveness of the Corrupt Practices Investigation Bureau or CPIB of this country has inspired other Asian countries to establish their respective anti-corruption agencies. A. Hong Kong B. Malaysia C. Singapore B. Taiwan E. Thailand Okay, gold standard ito sa labanan sa korupsyon. Ang tamang sagot ay letter C, Singapore. Hindi kaya dapat kasama ang Philippines <laughs> sa listahan. <laughs> Prof. Marla. What hormone stimulates milk production after childbirth? A. Estrogen A. Estrogen Mali Let me continue B. Testosterone C. Cortisol D. Insulin E. Prolactin yes. E. Prolactin E. Prolactin is correct. K. Check Maraming salamat, Prof. Marla. And after that second round, let's have a points recap. Jules? So, in the lead attorney, si Jez with 135 points, followed by Des with 90 points, Rudolph with 75 points, and Vinzar with 25 points. But again, like we like to say, it's only the first half that is done. We still have 180, 180 points to go, so hindi anything can happen. No? 
So to kick off the third round of questions, Prof. Sophie. Thank you. Um, ito unahan lang to. <laughs> Most successful company logos use only one or two colors. For example, Jollibee, McDonald's, no? Since 2015, what colors have been used in Google's G Jet. logo? Red, yellow, green, and blue. Yeah, uh, I was going to read the options, okay? So, for the record, A, red, white, blue, green, B, red, yellow, blue, orange, C, red, yellow, green, blue, D, red, yellow, green, violet, E, yellow, green, violet, and blue. The correct answer is C, red, yellow, green, blue. We look at it every day. Okay, check. And usually, that's what we are not able to figure out, no? The things we see every day. Prof. Neil, round three question. What is the nature of the country's poverty reduction program dubbed as Pantawid Pamilya? A. Conditional Cash Transfer Scheme B. Employment Guarantee Scheme C. Microcredit Arrangement D. Poverty Reduction Through Property Rights E. Short-Term Loan A. Conditional Cash Transfer Scheme Yan, ang galing tumutugon sa hamon ko. Okay? Ang tamang sagot, letter A, Conditional Cash Transfer Scheme, K-Check. Maraming salamat, Prof. Neil. Prof. Marla. Which pharmaceutical product is a popular injectable used to temporarily reduce or eliminate facial lines and wrinkles and is derived from a bacterial toxin? A. Retinoid B. Botox C. Glutathione drip Yes C. Glutathione Mali Without. B. Botox Let me continue D. Stem cells E. Hyaluronic acid This pharmaceutical product is produced Oh well, is derived from the botulinum toxin, which is produced by Clostridium botulinum. botulinum. It is B, Botox. K-check. Maraming salamat, Prof. Marla. And for our last set of questions, which has 90 points, yes. no? we call on Prof. Sophie. Thank you. In art, classical ideals of proportion measure the height of a figure by the number of which body part? Head. Head. I'll just read out that. No? A. Hands. B. Heads. C. Feet. D. Legs. E. Thumbs. An average person is generally drawn to have seven and a half heads tall, including the head. An ideal figure is drawn at eight heads tall. For heroic figures and superheroes, they're usually drawn at eight and a half heads tall. Heads is correct. Okay, check. Prof. Neil. Luis Chavit Singson has served as governor of this province in northern Luzon for decades. Yes. Um, it is Ilocos Norte. Mali. Whose tobacco industry is heavily state regulated. A. Cagayan B. Ilocos Norte C. Ilocos Sur D. Isabela E. Pangasinan Udo. C. Ilocos Sur Wow, talagang tumutugon sa hamon ko <laughs> <laughs> Ang tamang sagot ay letter C. Ilocos Sur K-check 165 na si Rudolph At si Jess naman ay 195 With 30 points to go Yes Okay Prof. Marla, abangan ang magiging resulta. What is the term for the movement of water across a semi-permeable membrane? A. Osmosis. B. 
B. Jazz. A. Osmosis. Let me continue. B. Tonicity. C. Diffusion. D. Filtration. E. Active transport. The correct answer is A. Osmosis. K. Check. Oh, and that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Akala natin magkakaroon ng tiebreaker. But no need because we now need to congratulate Jess, our K-Check Daily Winner with a final score of 225 points. We'll see him again on Friday when he competes with our other Daily Winners for a spot in our semi-finals. Thanks also to Rudolf, Vinzer, and Des. Palakpakan natin sila. Thank you for joining. And to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Sofia, Professor Neil, and Professor Marla. Maraming salamat po. Ako po si Jules Giang. At ako naman po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again tomorrow for another round here on K-Check! K -Check.